How's it going, everybody? DB Sports back with another Cyclones Play of the Week. Another unfortunate close one possession loss uh, for Iowa State this past Saturday in Austin to the Texas Longhorns, but it wasn't without its really good looks on offense. We're going to be taking a look at a third and goal here at the end of the first quarter to get the Cyclones on the board first to take the lead 7 to nothing. Nice touchdown pass from 100 Eckers to Jalen Noll. It'll be very similar uh, to a play that I showcased. Uh, against Iowa in week two I love this type of motion stuff I love this type of route especially with Jalen Noll, a guy who showed on Saturday how good he is with the ball in his hands and how good he is uh, as a wide receiver opposite or even next to uh, Xavier Hutchinson so let's take a look here at the game uh, at the play here we got third and goal ball at the five yard line do or die situation you need seven points you're playing in Austin you're playing against the Texas Longhorns so we got Jalen Knoll here in the backfield. He's finishing up his motion to the left side of the screen. He's going to immediately backtrack that and come back across the line of scrimmage here. And you'll notice uh, the Texas secondary. You're going to see they're going to have a player follow Xavier Hutchins, or uh, excuse me, Jalen Knoll. They're going to have a player follow. You got man coverage across the board here, and then you'll have uh, one of the DBs in the back here follow Jalen Knoll across. It's, it's clearly man coverage here. Uh, and Iowa State is going to have a nice little route combination here to beat that. So Dimitri Stanley here on the outside, he's going to run a super tight slant that's going to get this defender to follow inside. They're going to have uh, Deshaun Hanick of the tight end. He's just going to run a go route that's going to get this defensive back, uh, this corner, to uh, fly back with him to the back of the end zone. And then the DB that comes with Jalen Knoll is going to think that he's coming to the out route because much like the play against Iowa, Jalen Knoll's just going to flare out here. He's going to fake like he's going out in the flat. They're going to have this nice little, you know, three route pattern. And then Jalen Knoll's going to snap back on the angle right to the right to the middle of the field. You got, you know, extra coverage here over the middle uh, to take away the slant. And you're just going to end up with a one on one coverage uh, with Jalen Knoll, who absolutely uh, destroys his guy so we will take a look here like i said you have your your motion man here very clearly coming across to take away Jalen Knoll as he's coming back across in motion so keep an eye keep an eye on this texas defender back here because that's the uh, that's the target man here for this play so snap and you'll see here Jalen Knoll. like i said he's going to come out here into the flat and you'll see like i said dimitri stanley coming across the middle in the slant deshaun hanneke Kind of on this, it's almost like a goal line fade to the back to the back of the end zone. And here's that motion man for Xavier Hutchinson. So he's just going to snap back behind Dimitri Stanley. This corner is going with Dimitri Stanley. And uh, this corner is not going to be able to go through Deshaun Hanneke or his own defensive back. It's going to create a wide open pocket right here in the middle of the field. 400 Eckers to throw it, as we'll see here. Uh, on the uh, as soon as the play restarts here bang wide open you just follow up behind the slant texas db down here in the bottom of the screen uh, you can't really see him because of my face cam so let's go ahead and get rid of that and you can see here jalen knoll uh, right there in the bottom right corner of your screen jalen knoll wide open texas db uh, behind him well out of the play you got shifting to take away the slant trailing the slant looking back at the slant and uh, it's just wide open, wide open touchdown. Look at this ball placement right on the numbers. Jalen Knoll, you could have run this at your own one-yard line. Jalen Knoll is taking this all the way to the house. I mean, there's nobody behind him at all. Again, it's this type of stuff with Jalen Knoll that makes him so good. Uh, he's so he's such a good route runner. He's such an explosive guy with the ball in his hands. Uh, later in the game, he had a 54-yard touchdown uh, on an RPO. It was almost identical to the uh, touchdown from Brock Purdy to Xavier Hutchinson against uh, um, against Oklahoma. And it's it's just plays like this. I love this Jalen Noll kid. He's such a special talent, and Iowa State needs to use him in, in more situations like this. Um, you know, Xavier Hutchinson, very clearly the number one guy for 100 Eckers and for this offense, and rightfully so. Uh, he's, you know... Leading receiver in the country as far as receptions goes. I mean, he's dynamic with the ball in his hands, just like Jalen Knoll. Um, but it's plays like that. You know, we, we got to stop with these three yard crossers. The offense looked great against Texas for the most part. Uh, you know, save the the interception in the red zone. Um, and it's it's because of plays like that. They got the ball out of Hunter Decker's hands quickly. 
but it was to open space. It was it was really accurate throws from Hunter Deckers. Uh, the passing game looked really good, and that's what they're going to need because the run game clearly isn't it. They're they're averaging under 100 yards a game uh, in Big 12 play. So it, it's plays like this that that give me hope for the rest of the season. Granted, it's not a lot of hope. You know, you're sitting at 0-4 in the conference, 3-4 and overall, and, uh, you, you know, tough games uh, ahead, you know, as, as every game is in the Big 12. But you got a bye week to, to build off of what you did against Texas. And, you know, the offense looked good. The defense did a really, really good job. They held uh, they held Texas to, uh, what, 24 points. You hold Texas and B. John Robinson and Quinn Ewers to 24 points. Uh, you know, you, you, you feel pretty good about that. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a lot of good things going on at Iowa State, but the play calling has to be more like it was on Saturday, and the execution just has to s- still be better on special teams and, and in the margins. So, uh, a lot of good stuff to look forward to as long as they keep doing what they did on Saturday. But that's been my Cyclones play of the week. What do you think? Did I get it right? Did I get it wrong? What play would you have chosen? Let me know in the comments down below. I look forward to uh, seeing you guys uh, in the next one. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.